Hello world, and welcome back to Comment Blocks. This is the game where you get to comment down below what item you would like me to receive in the next episode. Last episode doesn't exist because I unfortunately ran into some technical difficulties. The comment was Obsidian, and I'd actually managed to make it into the nether, and needless to say, I got carried away with what I was constructing. My entire world pretty much looked completely different, and I even made some mistakes along the way that I was really afraid would ruin everything. But what really ruined everything was when the power went out, and I lost all the footage. And I don't have a backup of the world, so I can't just go back and redo the episode. But I'm not discouraged. There are a couple of things about the series I wanted to change. As you can see, we no longer have a bedrock floor. We are now on dirt, and there are no more slimes spawning, because we are now high above the slime spawn layer. So, welcome back to Comet Blocks. With that being said, let's start the episode. And since I don't have a comet to put an item in the chest, we're going to do that right now at random. So, let's go. As it turns out, there's a ton of things online that let you pick through every single conceivable Minecraft item. And this little spinner is all of the newest items, so let's try it. And we are going to use, what is that? Beetroot soup. Oh, okay. I shouldn't click the spinner again, but I'm very curious as to what else I can get. I'm still going to do beetroot soup. I'm not going to cheat. But let me just click it for fun. Uh, what else could I get? Elytra. Okay. That is infuriating. That is very infuriating. I should stop now before I get even angrier. It's going to be a big diamond block or something. Oh, but I can't help myself. Go ahead and spit it one more time. Let's just see. We're still doing beetroot soup. Oh, phantom membrane. Oh, yeah, never mind. Beetroot soup. Let's go back to beetroot soup. In addition to a chest filled with beetroot soup, I also, of course, have the natural spawning loot chest. I didn't turn that off because that would be crazy. And let's see what the game is just giving me to work with. No saplings. Did they change it to where you can't get saplings in this chest on super flat mode? I feel like they did. Because I was really hoping for at least one sapling. Oh well. I'll have to wait for someone to comment the tree type that'll just cover this world completely. One of the big changes I'm doing in this uh, world versus the last world is, of course, you see that there's no bedrock floor. That's way down beneath all the layers of dirt. The only resource I have at my disposal blockwise is dirt. Uh, the main reason I made this change was just for terraforming purposes, just to make it easier to fill out an actual world and just have something really pretty to look at. This will also help me fill in, like, empty spaces. I had to really worry about making empty spaces inside of the last world because if I make it to any empty spaces they would just immediately fill with bats. So this way I can fill up those empty spaces with dirt blocks and hopefully we can really limit the number of bats spawning. Normally I would say I need to make the most of my resources and not waste anything. but. I'm not going to dig through a bunch of dirt without a shovel, especially on day one, so I think two wooden shovels wouldn't hurt, just so that I can get some kind of protection and base. In this world, I won't be safe at night. That was also another reason to put dirt everywhere instead of just bedrock. I had kind of forgotten that bedrock was a transparent block, and therefore mobs do not spawn on it. And that kind of ruins the suspense of constantly being attacked by mobs in the night when you know exactly where they're going to come from. From now on, mobs will spawn on the dirt and they will just attack me from all sides. Which I think is a far more exciting for YouTube. Now the question is, where am I going to dig a hole to get some dirt? I think I'm going to plan out a waterway travel system. I actually do like using chess boats in order to deliver materials like little pickup trucks and they'll be really good in a super flat world so I think I'm going to start a kind of roundabout surrounding this uh, bedrock pillar that actually extends all the way down to the bottom of the world 
that's just a fun fact. It'll never come in handy, so I might as well tell you it now. And I'm trying to use these shovels sparingly and strategically. I know it really doesn't matter, I can just break the dirt with my hands, and it's just wood after all, but until I get saplings, I'm always kind of sad when I lose a little bit of wood. I have completed the bunker now. Every single block in this design is designed to stop me from dying. Uh, basically the idea is that no mob can physically attack me while I'm inside this bunker. This ledge is for looking out at things like zombies and skeletons and whacking them if I can. And if I step down off of the ledge, down into this little below part, that center column prevents spiders from physically being able to come down and attack me, so I can just kill them from underneath. Every single block here is placed with purpose. Now then, just like the very first episode of Comment Blocks, I have to come up with some kind of goal for this episode to be done, and since I only have beetroot soup, I'm only going to be killing mobs. This time, mob generators are not going to be as efficient. Uh, they're, they're just not going to work the same way. But dang, baby zombie. They're just not going to work the same way. Because there's going to be so many mobs spawning around, I might just have to kill them the old-fashioned way until I get a really good no-mob spawn zone out here. I have no idea how long it will take, but I think just continuously farming zombies until I get either a carrot or a potato feels like the way to go. And that could legitimately take me many days. I know in the first series it took me nearly like 11 days in order to just get one potato with all the mob spawners and stuff. And I have no idea how long it'll take me here, so even if it takes me the next 10 hours, I'm just gonna have to continuously kill these zombies. And Oh, well, right there's one. Never mind. Uh, I did it. Episode's over. We're done here. Let's go home, gentlemen. I didn't stage that, by the way. The carrot actually dropped the very first night, which has never happened for me before, but that's okay. Comet Blocks was meant to be a shorter episode series where I just focused on making shorter content and, of course, engaging with my audience more and try to experiment with that and see how that worked. I guess all I can do now is try to get some skeletons to drop bone meal and spend up the rest of my beetroot soup to accomplish that goal. Uh, it'll be the healing item that I constantly farm skeletons with. And then as the carrots uh, grow, I will burn up my wood in a hose to try and get down some kind of carrot farm. And I'll also try to get more carrots or potatoes or something from zombies, so... I'll do that for a little while until my beetroot soup is completely burned up, and then that'll be the end of the episode. I feel a little silly having made this bunker. Or, I was about to say I feel a little silly making this bunker, but seeing as I'm being attacked by a spider that can't actually hit me right now, I don't feel silly for making this bunker. Good job, Timber. Bunkers away. Alrighty then, after so many days of fighting and drinking beetroot soup, I am finally out of it, and I have to now hide in my bunker and survive off rotten flesh, and that means that this episode is over. I have the carrot farm, but it's not really big enough yet to turn over a profit. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me with my eternal battles against the YouTube algorithmo. But especially comment, because now that we have a world filled with dirt to play around in, I can finally do terraforming projects. If you want to change the look of this world, all you have to do is think of the item or block or whatever you want to comment in the comments down below. And that is what I'll have to use in the next episode to further my adventures in this world, so you could fundamentally change everything with a single comment. I hope you have fun, and for now, I'm going to be saying, bye-bye!